Hello everyone, my name is Elena. I am currently a junior here studying communications and minoring in entrepreneurship. I was born in Brazil, raised in Texas, and about three years ago, my family immigrated to Buenos Aires, Argentina. So today, I'm going to be talking about religion here on campus. But before I begin to talk about religion on campus, I would like to take a second to acknowledge the Ohlone Native American tribe, native to the Bay Area, whose history is critical to our campus and whose lands we stand on today. Now, to begin to talk about religion on campus, as you can see, we are here in the Mission Gardens, one of the most beautiful places at Santa Clara University. Uh, we are a Jesuit university, so what does that mean? That means that our courses um, try to teach the student as a whole. So, uh, that being said, we do have three mandatory religion classes that you have to take uh, during your time here at Santa Clara, but don't fret, those religion classes vary, and they can vary from Christian in theology, um, theology of marriage, theology of death. I just took a class called Witches, Saints, and Heretics, which was awesome. So there's a, a variety. Only about 50% of our student body here is Catholic. The other half um, are a diverse of different religions and spiritualities. We do have mass here every day, if that is something that you want to pursue. Uh, and we do have mass on Sundays and the nine o'clock at night is the mass that is 100% student run and student led, which is awesome. So yes, here at Santa Clara, theology is a big part of our life, but by no means do you have to be Catholic to be here. Hello everyone and welcome to Benson Memorial Center, our main dining hall here on campus. Benson was recently renovated about 18 months ago and has a variety of different foods that you can choose from. From Mediterranean to sushi bar to sandwiches and Asian food, there's a lot of different choices, which is awesome. Also something to note is that if you do have an allergy, uh, Bon Appetit, our caterer, does a really good job of making sure that there are options for you, whether you be vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free, there are options. Uh, besides Benson, we have three cafes throughout campus that you can buy coffee from and also buy some sandwiches and some prepackaged salads. Downstairs in the basement, we have a cellar market, which acts kind of like a super, like a little mini market, I guess, um, where you can also buy snacks and foods. Uh, something else to note is that Benson is home to a variety of clubs and organizations here on campus. Yeah, and so in that lower level of Benson, where the cellar is located, also, like Elena said, offices for a lot of the student clubs and organizations, of which there are many at Santa Clara. Um, so in the lower level, Benson, you're going to find the offices for everything ranging from the student newspaper, the student radio station, the Rainbow Resource Center. Uh, it also houses the office for Into the Wild, which is one of our most popular clubs here on campus. Into the Wild does backpacking trips in local nature spots around the Bay Area and beyond, so they might take students to Tahoe skiing over the weekend or just go on a day hike in Saratoga. Um, the great thing about clubs and activities at Santa Clara is there's pretty much a way for you to get involved in whatever you want to get involved in. If you're interested in student government, you can join Associated Student Government. If you're interested in chess, you can join the chess club. Uh, we also have big campus-wide events put on by our activities programming board. Um, so this is an organization that's run by students that plans fun events for students to do on campus. Campus. Everything ranging from a couple big concerts each year with artists as big as Vince Staples, uh, Quinn XCII, or Quinn 92, I always forget which it is. Um, but then they also have petting zoos during finals week that they bring here on campus. They have Bronco buses up to Warriors games and different concerts in Oakland and San Francisco. So there are a lot of fun things to do both on and off campus, put on by APB and kind of just organized by students as well. Hey everyone, so right now we're walking into one of Santa Clara's nine residence hall, halls. This is, the building name is Graham Hall. And then the RLC name, we don't call them dorms, we call them residential learning communities, RLC, is Alpha. And the focus is integrity, innovation, and impact. And so with that, you're gonna be taking a first, a class with your first year students, with students in your residence hall. So that just means that you get to know these students extremely well. It's a segue into community on campus. And then the class that you're taking is supposed to focus on that theme. So for Graham, as we said before, innovation, integrity, and impact, that's kind of what your class would be about. So at Santa Clara, we put a lot of emphasis on this community aspect of, re of, of a residence hall and of living. 
So you're gonna be living with students, going to class with them, really getting to know them, up late at night for an assignment, maybe eating lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever it might be. And this for me was my first group on campus and it segued, my segue into college was made so much better. I still keep in touch with students to this day. And so we're gonna go walk into one of the residence halls. This Graham, Graham residence hall is a mini suite style. So that's one of our three options, kind of the middle ground. We have our standard double, mini suite, and then full suite. And then what we also have, which is extremely um, incredible uh, resource for students, we have community facilitators. So those are, they're called CFs, students who go through extensive training to be resource for students. And then we have spirituality facilitators. They're all in charge of putting on events in the residence hall. Graham has an Olympics event, things like that. Now we get to finally see where students spend their time. This is a mini suite. So Graham Hall is first years and sophomores. Many people walk in here and they're like, oh my goodness, this is huge. Which it is a sizable room, but it's also for first years and sophomores, not for juniors and seniors. So with that, you have your beds, you have your desks, um, a vanity, and then you have your own bathroom with, on the other side is a room, a mini suite of the same configuration. So you share a shower bathroom with the other students on the other side. And so um, you got a lot of space and these are super, super nice. Um, but then this is the middle ground. So we have that standard double, which is a little bit smaller than this. That's where I lived my first year. And then we have a full suite, which is a little bit bigger. So just so you know what you're looking at when it, in regards to the style of living with each residence hall, Graham is your mini suite, Finn is a mini suite. And then on West Campus Housing, we have Swig, Dunn, McLaughlin, Walsh. Those are standard doubles. Campisi and San Filippo are both standard doubles. Sobrado, as well as um, Casa, those are both your full suite. So some of those have kitchens, um, that gives you a little bit more room, and that's the breakdown of all the housing that we have.